bear. Okay. <laughs> Bagel okay. bear. Sorry. Why does that excite Domo? That, that, I've never seen Domo so happy and excited. Bagel bear. I mean, Bagel has been going Zetterburn for a fair portion of this bracket, so nice to see the Edelus coming out. I love this stage's <laughs> music. This, yeah, this, this game... is a collaboration with Tower of Heaven. <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds me of uh, the end of the game, like the, the last world or of... Uh, what's that game called? It's like a PC game. And you're on, you, you, you're have, on, you have like I a gun. Nothing. I'm trying to remember. It's like an indie game from like 10 years ago. Less than 10 years ago. Darn it, I can't remember. I'm so mad. Either way. Also, the so uh, I can't remember. score is Cave Story. Pick, Cave so Story. This is game number one here. This looks like the end of the Cave Story, where you're, where you're scouting the mountains of the clouds and at night. It's I never so, it's played so, Cave Story. Well, it's near the end of the game. There's a level that's kind, this kind of looks like that. You're just climbing it. Not, not really, is no. Is this spoilers? N Shut up, Tom. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Cave Story was really good, by the way. It's an old game, but I played it when it came out. So good. Yeah. Two stock lead here for Cake Assault. A very dominant game one. I think it's the best music in the game. In my opinion. If it's not the best, it was, it's one of the best. I think it was Smash and Splash 4, where Bagel got the upset over Cake Assault in this matchup. So definitely makes sense why we're returning to the classics, even though Bagel's been more in favor of Zetterburn recently. But it's not working out as well as he would hope for. Full stock lead for Cake Assault. And he just needs like one down air confirm off stage. Down tilt, not able to convert the back air. Gotta be super precise with those cape hits. If you're just a little bit off, your opponent will be able to fall out. Cake trying so hard. He just needs one to connect here. And he's perfectly fine just yet. Yeah, waiting for a bagel off stage, waiting for him to make a mistake. Goes out there, hits the back air. Game number one going over the Cake Assault. Is the oh, th game. is the coupon really used up now? I heard the coupon might have a limited uses. Uh, a, a li it has a limit. Okay, so I, I heard it actually hit its limit for Ultimate and Rivals. So, you just get, yeah, so you guys, the coupon's uh, used up now. Uh, which is which is a good problem to have. Which, which means yeah, we, that's we, a very good we did, problem. We did the we did the maximum we could, which is good. And uh, if you want to continue helping, uh, you could just retweet a bunch of stuff on the right side of Matcherino. You can still use the same link on the right side of Matcherino. Use a bunch of sponsor links you can uh, do. You can add it up to if you were to do all of these theoretically, you can add up to me and Double Duty calculations three dollars and fifty cents. If you like, want to retweet like ten things or so. So yeah, if you don't mind retweeting a bunch of stuff. And you can help support help support it several dollars per person. You don't have to, of course. I'm just saying, for those that don't mind, that is another way you can give back to the community. Yeah, thank you guys so much for reaching the cap there. Definitely means a lot to us. But we're going to go into game number two. We've got some more rivals of Aether. going to see if Kate can keep that streak going. Surprised Bagel stuck with Edelus there. I think he wants to try out the matchup one more time. Well, I mean, Edelus did just... Take him out of, out of out of winners, uh, winners winners finals, right? The same character, uh, wasn't it? No, no, no. That was uh, that was ZB. That was oh, ZB. oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's the same matchup. Though. Yeah, ZB did win the matchup. So he knows that he the, the character can do it. That's true. He just has to play as good as ZB. Obviously, easier said than done, but I mean, it's not like the character can't do it. Yeah, I'm. Pr that's been proven. Gets oh. the freeze. Misses the read there. So when Atlas does freeze you, you put in an input either to stay in place, go to the right, or go to the left. And so Atlas has to essentially call out which one you're going to do. Yeah, Nair up strong confirm there. Oh, kicks and got his combo going 51%. Just off the bat. Waits out the down B, keeps the extension going as well. Oh, this is not looking good. Not able to convert off screen. All right, 135%. Yeah, I mean, he just needs a down strong. He needs like anything 
back air off stage, down air off stage, like any strong attack at this point. But no, Bagel gets the opening. Ends up running into the teleport, resetting the situation. Yeah, there's the. Where'd that explosion so, come from? Out for a so, second there, I thought it was the line carry. Is that a bird? When I saw that. So what Forrest can do with those smoke clouds, he can actually absorb them. And once he absorbs three, he essentially has a explosion. Say, like a less powerful version of the Wario Waft that he can explosion. Just, yeah, explosion. He can also, with that, empower his smoke. So he can put out a huge puff of smoke. And he also can put out an empowered clone, which he's able to make attack and lead into like different strings with that. There's a lot of different things that you can do with that. Back I don't think that there. obsessed, that obsessed yep. wouldn't have even killed anyway. Is that 57? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but in general, like it's good for getting your opponent off stage. And Atlas has a very strong edge guard game. Up with smash, his side it was up smash. That come down. He was trying to up smash him at fifty-seven. That was just for damage, for sure. Oh, oh, okay. Look here. Yeah, back once again. Bagel committing to this Atlas pick. Do it. The down air spike, not enough just yet, but Edlis still off stage. Nair down air doesn't get the spike, but he's still way at the side of the screen. Ends up getting clipped by the down B as Bagel makes his way back on. Alright, gonna see what Kate can do here. He's doing a really good job of mixing himself up with the clone. That's something Cake has always been amazing at. Generally, when you're fighting a Forest Burn player, it's very easy to tell just based on the movements who is the clone and who is the real Forest Burn. But Cake is so, so good like at mixing he, what does it up. He do? Like, not, there, not wave dash or something? Clone, like, part, as part of the uh, combo, like extending them. And yeah, the clone can't dash. The clone, like, can't do a dash like that. It's like, it's very limited in its movement options. So if, it also can't attack normally. So if you see someone attack, you know that's real forest burn. If you see them like parry, you know so that's real forest burn. what's the clone do? Does it even fight? Or is it just a distraction? It's just a distraction, but you can explode it. So you can remotely explode it and detonate it. So it's a harmless walking character except for when it explodes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they were just not able to make this kill. Forward strong. Doesn't actually lead into anything, but Cake is so good at making the most out of like any situation. Like even if your his opponent gets out of a combo, he has like two other ways to cover it. Armor is on, quickly dealt with. 175 here for Bagel. <laughs> Are we gonna see the 200? 196. No, I mean he got the 200, but he died off the top for it. Full stock lead here for Cake. Bagel's <laughs> experiment life on the line here. He's just, he's just doing the chest attack. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's Atlas neutral air. It's a really good move. Super, super good move. He did the same move. You like can so delay many times. it for such a long time. Did you see that? Down. He was he was on his back and the bite attack a bite hurt him. He should have charged it, dude. That if he charged it a bit, that probably would have killed. Yeah, just wasn't confident if he was able to get it out in time. Bagel should have charged it a little bit. That this yeah, match bagel. would have been over. Yeah, bagel. <laughs> I, dude, no, I see. No, I've seen this th throughout the entire top eight. Someone gets no, a parry. No, listen, I've seen this same pattern for a lot of people. Someone gets a parry. They have the opportunity to charge it just a little bit, and they don't, and it actually costs them the game. And this has happened in multiple sets I've watched so far. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's particularly an issue, like in the sort of online setting where you're not, you don't have as much time to react as you normally would. So you're not certain if it's going to actually connect before they get out of the parry stun. Even still, they can still get out of the parry stun because even if they did a frame perfect parry, it's not so frame three. And most people don't have a frame one to a, one or two attack. So it doesn't have to be a true combo per se. It just has to be fast enough that they can't get out and then do a parry. Very true. But not everyone is able to judge frames down to like within like a three frame window. It's 